Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Isaac coming to you live from Face Oven. Uh, don't mind me while I'm enjoying one of Face peanut butter cookies. <laughs> this video is out there as well. I probably shouldn't have really been it because now, now I can't talk. <laughs> but what you are about to watch, I'm gonna let you know, you ain't ready for it. You are not ready. This is about to cause a situation. You about to be addicted to this cake. This German chocolate cake is the best ever. Hands down, I done had a couple of different uh, the chefs made some German chocolate cake from scratch and them got nothing on this. So, shoot, check this out. Figure out how to make it. Get your ingredients, put it together. Introduce it to your family and friends. You'll be the hit, the best, most popular person on the block. So here we go. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to use your gift with the world to God's glory. In Jesus' name, let's go. All right, y'all, you want to start with Baker's German Sweet Chocolate. It's not really sweet, so don't bleed a hype. Anyway, this is what it looks like. And you're going to bring about a half cup of water to a slight simmer slash boil. And you're going to place your chocolate in that water. And you're going to let her melt. And you're going to stir really well. Once you've stirred really well and she's melted, you're going to put her to the side. And you're going to let her cool while you do your wet ingredients. So we're going to use two sticks of room temperature butter along with two cups of sugar. I have this attachment first when I start to stir. And I'm like, no. Oh, that's going to beat my ingredients too hard so I switched attachments on my stand mixer you guys and I'm mixing so we're going to use uh, one teaspoon of vanilla one teaspoon of instant it's espresso you guys do not skip the espresso it's the secret ingredient and you want to get that because it heightens the flavor of the chocolate which which makes it wonderful and then we're going to add four eggs uh, one egg in at a time as you stir so we'll not stir but mix with your stand mixer or stir if you're going to do it by hand so once we mix all our eggs in we're gonna add our chocolate mixture and we're gonna get the we're gonna get that mix in really well and then we're gonna scrape down our sides you guys do not forget to scrape down your sides because for some reason it, our ingredients like to stick to our bowl so scrape down those sides and continue to mix all right, so at this point we want to have about a cup of buttermilk. I did not have buttermilk on hand, but I did have some sour cream. So I did about three fourth cups of a sour cream and fourth cup of water. I mixed it really well together and that is my substitute for buttermilk today. And this is my flour and my baking soda and baking powder and salt mixture. You're gonna do two cups of flour along with one teaspoon of baking soda, baking powder, and one half teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna mix and we're gonna add it to our stand mixer and mix really well. So once that's done, everything, all your ingredients are mixed well together. You wanna make sure that you grease and flour your pan and add your wet ingredients to those pans. Your oven had been preheated to 350 degrees and you want to cook her for about 30 to 35 minutes. Just make sure you check with a knife. So on to our frosting, which is like the best part of German chocolate cake. So as you can see, we're going to need a stick of butter. It's almost like we're making caramel. So you're going to use a stick of butter and about a cup of brown sugar and you're going to mix those two ingredients really well together you guys when it comes to our frosting you do not want to skip stirring you're going to have to stir 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 now this is our evaporated milk we're going to use about a cup and a half of evaporated milk i started off with my wooden spoon but now i'm moving on to my whisk because we want to really stir really well you guys we want to get these ingredients mixed well really well together so then we're going to add about half a teaspoon of vanilla and then we're going to add three egg yolks to our ingredients and we're going to continue to mix on very low heat you don't really want to cook the egg so you keep the uh, heat really low and you just continue to stir and as you can see it thickens up and okay so once you thickens up and you add your coconut your pecans and your hot mixture you're going to mix everything together once she's all mixed set her to the side and let her cool for 30 minutes you guys you can't put her straight on the cake you have to let her thicken up like this at this point i had let my cake i mean my frosting cool for a good 30 to 45 minutes and this is how she thickens up and it's perfect for frosting your cake you don't want to put her on there while she's burning hot i can't stress that enough you guys you got you want to make sure that you let your frosting cool before you put her on the cake otherwise it's just going to droop off it's not going to stick and gel together like it is right here 
anyway this cake I hope was simple enough for you guys to make I hope you enjoy this cake just as much as we did we love German chocolate cake in this house in my 40 years of living I'm pretty upset that I didn't try it a lot sooner this is mom's 62nd birthday she wanted a German chocolate cake to you oh happy birthday to you may you feel Jesus near every day of the year oh happy birthday to you oh happy birthday to you does my mom look good to be 62 bomb Isn't that pretty whoa isn't that lovely <laughs> Well, if you're a true German chocolate cake fan, I implore you to try this cake. If you know somebody that loves German chocolate cake, I hope you make it for them and use this recipe. Anyway, thank you guys for watching Faith's Oven. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. God bless you guys. Hope you enjoy.